hey everybody, it's um, it's Kenneth it again, and it's like, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning, and I've just been awake all night, because of this World Bank raises China's 2010 GPA, GDP, I'm sorry, I'm thinking about all my school tests that I have to do tomorrow, I've got 13 tests, because I'm taking 13 classes, which is 13 times three, which is a lot, it's like 39 hours of classes, and I've only got three tests tomorrow, not 13, I was joking, because I like to play jokes, and, but anyway, I was talking about the World Bank raises the Chinese 2010 GDP, and which could cause um, a inflation, it could inflate the GDP. Now, when you're talking about inflating GDP or inf just inflation, period, you want you want to think about you want to think about like a balloon because you inflate a balloon, or like a big like a good or blimp, um, or even something else that you put air into, but it's different because it's with money. And money is what you put in your wallet or in your pocket if it's not a lot. If you have a couple of dollars, you just put it in your pocket. And see, there are a lot of pickpocketers um, around, and especially in China because they have so many, so much more people in China. And it's like they pickpocket all the time. So you've got to deflate your pocket change to inflate your inflation and which you don't want because you want to take your pocket change and put it in your car so then stay safe but back on the subject um the world is it's raised its 2010 growth and inflation forecast for china and recommended a tighter monetary policy and stronger exchange rate and um, also restrains inflation expectations and asset bubbles um so it's kind of a theoretical thought that i didn't really have i read it just now but you couldn't tell i was reading because i'm um i read like this like when i'm reading i look at the words and i look away so but um it says the World Bank raised its 2010 growth. Okay, it raised its growth. So that's good. And World Bank, because that's a big bank. And if it grows, then it's going to be even more banks, which means more money and more gold. And um, it says the World Bank raised 2010 growth and inflation forecasts for China and recommended a tighter monetary policy and stronger exchange rate to restrain inflation expectations and asset bubbles. Now, I like say I have an asset. I will just say my asset is a guitar or maybe a baseball hat. And if I have a bubble in there, it doesn't look as good because the bubble can make it look bad you want to you want your hats to look new unless you want that Abercrombie look so um basically we have to put our money back in our wallets and in our cars and also prevent bubbles by getting bubble proof goo at hat world and it's really good it works great. I'm using them a lot to prevent bubbles on my hats. Um, I don't have a hat to show you right now, but that's my solution um, for the forecast and inflation rate. And we don't want inflation rate because if we do, everything's going to be more sp exp expensive. It's going to be a lot more money. So um, don't inflate. Um, participate. Okay, kind of like uh, saying that that's cool. Like, um, I think 
black people and some white people even say it too. And probably Chinese people, even though they're causing inflation. 